Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where last time I did a world tour, showing off everything we've done in this 500 hour playthrough, which of course includes our main base here, the now stable nuclear power plant, and all the other crazy projects we've gotten up to. So now that we have effectively infinite power and all of the logistics stuff across the world, it is time to start beating the video game and automating all of the space elevator parts. So now in this phase of the game, we're gonna start harvesting every resource we could possibly get our hands on and automate things out the wazoo. And today we're gonna be starting with the aluminum plant, taking all the bauxite from the entire rest of the world and processing it into as many aluminum products as we possibly can. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like. So I explained this a bit in the world tour, but the entire kind of concept for this playthrough was to make as much power as possible first, and then we'd automate everything in the entire game. So now that we're kind of done with phase one, we can start harvesting, automating, and doing whatever we want, because we effectively have no limitations. So it's gonna be quite the fun little journey here. The game's gonna get a little rough, a little laggy probably, but we're gonna have oh so much fun. And hopefully, I don't break it. Though, we do have nuclear weapons, so <laughs> we'll have to see. So expect a lot more heavy automation going forward. Anyway, we want the aluminum plant set up, so the first thing we're gonna need, of course, is the bauxite from this biome. And there is a lot to scoop up, but I've kind of prepared things by making a train track that goes through the entire biome right now. This goes all the way to our heat sink build, which is powering our nuclear power plant right over here. So the train line comes up this way and then goes straight across the map to the aluminum area. At least the track does. So that's kind of the easy part. <laughs> the hard part is getting past all of this nonsense. So first, let's do some cleaning up, and let's get a train station built, brother. <laughs> oh, I love nukes. I'm so happy they're in the game. Makes life so much more convenient. Look at all that nonsense that's just now gone. Ooh, and look, flesh. All right, so station's built, and we just want to use that for power, because luckily nowadays, Radar towers are useful, and that can find us all of the bauxite nodes. So if we just go onto the map, turn that sucker on, let's see how much more we need to grab. So there is a pure node there, definitely want that. There's a couple, I think there's four normal nodes in this area, so there's one there. Still have an impure node over there, okay. And we definitely want to get these two pure quartz nodes. And probably a bunch of coal, too. So we have our work cut out for us. So off we go into the depths, where I'm going to gather up all of the nodes first and try and bring them back to this plateau. Hopefully we don't get oofed too bad, because apparently the spiders got buffed in this game, and they are much more spooky and aggressive. But then again, we also have nuclear weapons, so there's that. <laughs> Wait, maybe that's actually a bad thing. Uh, it's a bad thing for everybody, I think. Anyway, let's get set up here. So I just want to put down all of the miners, get them all overclocked as much as they need to be, and scoot the resources, including this coal over here. Thank you very much. Man. It is so handy having the radar towers up, though. It's gonna make my life so much easier. What? Oh, I have a hotbar for the emotes. <laughs> I haven't used the emotes in forever. Oh, that freaks me out a bit. Ew. Hello, all you friends. Oh, what's up? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, they're so much faster. Oh, but homing ammo. Pretty strong. Big fan. No, the flies. The flies. The infinite flies. Homing ammo, though. Am I right? Wait, it never misses? Okay, wait a second. Homing ammo? Actually overpowered? I think so. Actually, yeah. Homing ammo? Absolutely nuts. You don't have to aim at all. Like, they literally will always hit. 
Well, when you're actually aiming. That's awesome. Oh, I see you, punk. Don't you try that. Oh man, no. There's also a huge project we gotta do too. I don't really want to, but there is a nitrogen gas node over there, and it's pure. And we have to have that for our aluminum setup. But actually, you know what? We could run a pipe through here, like just down over this way. We get to like this little alcove, and then we make a giant bridge over to the other side of the biome. Excuse me, gentlemen. Yeah, that, that shouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And this is pure, right? Yeah, it's all pure, baby. And nitrogen is one of the most important things for our projects. Because along with aluminum, one of our big goals is going to be to automate fused modular frames. And they take up a lot of gas. And I could just package this nitrogen gas. Like, there is a way to do that. But I'm not really inclined to do so because then we're going to have to get the empty fluid tank. And that costs aluminum. And pretty much any spare aluminum I want going to batteries so we can make a ton of drones. So we'll see how this ends up working out. First, a little bit of cleanup. Set up the pressurizer. And then give it a little bit of juice. And then I guess we're gonna start bringing it on home. Which is gonna be an absolute nightmare project. Actually, you know what? This project was a ton of fun. I just streamed it over on Twitch and it's just a nice, relaxing project where I didn't have to worry. Just turned my brain off, got it all set up, and it ended up looking kind of cool. Like we have this giant gas pipeline now that's going across pretty much half the world all the way up to that train station area. And it looks really good. It's easy to build because it's gas. You don't have to worry about any pumps or any of that nonsense. And we can rock and roll now. No hindsight being 2020, would this have been easier just with using a drone? A hundred percent. Maybe I should have waited, but I wanted it now because <laughs> I'm working in this area. So I was like, we may as well just get it done and get it done. I did. Speaking of getting things done, also yoinked all of the quartz from the depths down there and brought it up this tower up to the train station as well. So now we have 1,560 quartz per minute. It's all coming upstairs here to the train station. Plus, I was able to gather up all of the other coal and bauxite I think we'll need. Probably? Yes. At least from nodes that are around here. Uh, let's see, we got that one. These ones are gathered up. The quartz, good. Might grab more coal, but we'll see. We have plenty of coal over at the aluminum build. But before we can actually set up the rest of the train station here, we need to check on the other one. So like I was saying earlier, I built this track over to the heat sink area. And I brought over a ton of oxide here, and there is no way we're using it all, I'm sure. So let's see how much we can drag over. Inside, I know there's at least 250 that's just not being used. 266 to ship out, okay? And then I brought all of the nodes over to this area. So NNPP. So that's normal, that's normal. And then these two are pure. So that's a pure coal and a pure bauxite node. Plus the 260 over this way. Okay, that's pretty good. That's a lot of stuff to kind of skewed out here. And then how many extra freight platforms do we have at the train station? Three. Do we really have three? I don't think so. <laughs> we have some copper here too. Why do we have copper here? Where did we even get the copper from? Well, obviously it's for the heat sinks. Okay, then what kind of copper node are we working with? Wait a second, is this? <laughs> it's been so long I forgot. This copper node comes from all the way over in the rocky desert over there. There is a normal node of copper that I scooted all the way over here, and then I scooted all the heat sinks all the way back. Okay, so if it's a normal copper node, fully overclocked, Mark III miner, that is 600 copper per minute. And we have five refineries making copper ingots, each using 37.5, 37.5 times 
185, 187, 600 minus 187.5, it's 412. We'll round that down to 400. So we have 400 copper per minute going through this train station. Then we have 780 coal and like a thousand bauxite. Okay, it's a bit of stuff there. I'm just trying to think now. If we have that much material, transporting it fast enough to the other train station is gonna be a time. So where's the other train station? It's like somewhere over here. Okay, how do we go about this? I guess this is where things get tricky because we can't really loop this train track around. We're kind of like nudged into a cliff right here. So if we can't loop this around, this has to be a two-way train. So that means we'll have a bunch of freight cars in the middle here, just for example, and then a train on this end. And we'll just keep going back and forth. And in like a really nice world, we could just have this train going back and forth all the way from here to the aluminum base across the red forest. But then we have the gas, and you're gonna be transporting the gas just in its gaseous form, and that is not gonna work out. You see, gas is very difficult to transport. Not because of like, it's heavy or anything. Luckily, we don't have to deal with that kind of problem in this game. The problem is, okay, enough. Where are you? Stop. Jeez, that's annoying. Okay, the problem with gas is that we cannot transport a lot of it very fast. That's because the fluid slash gas platforms are pretty bad. Like they can only hold 2,400 gas, which is like nothing, considering we're bringing in 600 gas per pipe. But worse than that, it's the freight cars that carry the gas. They are hardcore Garbino. So let's just dock this, okay. Let's double check the numbers. So when they first introduced gases in gas freight cars, or I think it was liquid actually, these liquid gas freight cars could only hold 500 material and that's it, which is nothing. But they buffed that, thankfully, and I don't remember how much they buffed that. If it's 2,400 material, maybe this could work out easily, but it ain't. It's 1,600 material which means we're gonna have to have multiple trains going from end to end. Because if we're bringing material from here, we're picking up gas, and then we're bringing the material all the way over here, this distance is gonna have a major, major throughput issue. So we're gonna need multiple trains. But I prefer to only have one train track because getting a train through here is a, not an easy feat. And getting a second track through will make things a lot more difficult. So, hmm. Few options, few options. If we want to keep one track, we could make a parking spot. That's something. And how we'd set that up is we just have a parallel area, like so. It just goes straight here. And we could use signals to tell the train to get into the parking lot whenever there is like a train in this section. So a train coming from that direction would we'll just park over here for a moment. So this train could go on through, and then once the train was clear, it could stop parking, and then go to the train station and continue on its merry way. And that wouldn't be too difficult to set up, actually. But we're gonna need so many trains. We're at least gonna need, like, two, maybe three. And this distance is already, like, what, 10% of the length of the track? So perhaps this is impractical. Yeah, because then from right over there, we'd have another parking spot, probably somewhere by this lake. And then where I'm actually planning to bring all of the materials is just to a train station here, which is a little far away from our aluminum plant, but I don't want the distance to be that long because, again, the throughput issue. Like, we're not going to be able to bring items fast enough to the factory to let it run efficiently. And the train is going to be a huge, huge problem. Along with you, sir. Well, you would have been, if not for cluster nobilisks. Okay, so you know what? This is hard to explain and visualize without using Photoshop or something. So we're switching it up. This is the heatsink train station. This is this train station one, where everything gets inputted from around the forest. And this is train station two, where everything gets dropped off for the aluminum base. Cool? Cool. So what we're just talking about is adding in little parking spots. So the parking spots would be like here, 
and then like here. So we could have one train line, multiple trains, that would each go park, let another train pass, and then the other trains would go pass and through. So we could have these parking spaces, but you see how big they're gonna be? Yeah, impractical. So I don't really wanna go with the parking space design. Number two is we could just go for a loop wherein we have the trains just running parallel, going in a loop as they do, but we can't have a loop over here because this is a cliff and like, where, where's the train gonna go? It's, it's not happening. Uh, this area too, really messed up. That's not gonna work. So we, loops are a little out of the question. I was thinking of another idea though, where we could have this train go out to here, park, and then drop off its loot to this train station. Then we turn this line into a loop. And that could work pretty well, but I don't know if that's possible. This train would then go back and forth into a loop. And I've never tried this before, but I think it's our best bet because this distance is too big not to make a loop in. So we'll try this out and just hope it works. Okay, so the test is all built and ready to go and it is gonna be crazy. This station has ended up looking chunky, big chunk. Because we have to have the other train from the heat sink place stop here and then go back, right? So we've had to kind of combine two stations together. So there's a smart station and then there's like the main station. So this main station is gonna have all the gas, the bauxite from around the red forest and all that jazz. And the smart station is gonna have the bauxite, copper and what have you from the other place. It's gonna drop off those materials and then reload them into the other train station, okay? And then that other train is gonna enter the loop and go to drop it off at the aluminum plant. So that is gonna be a big freaking train. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 freight cars to move everything. Plus we're gonna have to have two trains going through the loop at least to make sure the throughput's good. But before any of that, we have to make sure that the system can work. So let's get things moving. Let's get things grooving. Add at the timetable. Add in the extra station. Turn on self-driving and off you go. Okay, I think I've set up the signaling so it should work. Like the other train should be able to enter this station, go to the end and then back right out. I already have it set up and waiting very patiently for that other train to get out of the way. And now I heard a ding. It's going forward, this is looking good. Okay, but will it go back? That's kind of like the main thing, like logically the idea makes sense. It's just, can the game figure out what I'm doing? And I think it can. Okay, another big thing, is this train gonna actually stop? Or is it gonna crash into this one that's docking? Uh, it's going pretty fast. Oh, it's stopping though. It should stop right at the turn signal back there. Oh yeah, and it pretty much did, perfect. This one's unloading, okay, good. Now will it understand to go straight backwards? It has to go straight backwards. It cannot go forward at all or else everything fails. Is it just broken? I think it's just broken. Signaling problem, makes sense. Wait, wait actually, wait a second. This actually might just be my bad. I think all I have to do is I have to put down like a pass signal here so it knows that, hey, there's another block. And then a block signal somewhere on here. And we got the green light. <gasps> the train's coming back and it's going straight back as we need it to. Wait a second, did we just get this to work? That's pretty cool. This has a lot of implications too for the rest of our world. Okay, but now that train's coming in. We already know it's gonna park just fine. Oh my gosh, I think we did it. Okay, but before I get too excited, I wanna see the whole system work all at once. So that train's gonna leave. Now we have to wait for the other train to come back, but it's gonna take a minute. Oh yeah, oh that's so cool. You can even see the main train like switches over there. All right, so here it comes. And they're coming at pretty much the exact same time. Hmm. Looks like this one won, which makes a lot of sense. We're gonna have like two, maybe three of these trains, right? There's only gonna be one of this rascal, but he's waiting just fine. We already know that one's just fine. 
So once it leaves as it's doing, you're gonna rock and roll. It's gonna rock and roll. And I think that's it. I think the whole system is ready to go. I'm not seeing any problems. <laughs> I can't believe it actually. This is such a great concept. All right, well, starting to notice a big problem actually with this whole thing. This train is gargantuan. Like, look at this. We have to have two of these, by the way, running around in a loop. And that's gonna be a laggy, laggy mess. <sighs> you know, mm, I, I don't think we can do this. It, it's such a cool system that we've come up with, but this is just too much. And what is it all for? A little bit of coal? No, it's a lot of coal, actually. Uh, and like a thousand bauxite. Um, look at this. We can't have this running. This is gonna cause too much lag. What alternatives do we have here? Oh my gosh, you know what we could just do? We could just belt the bauxite and the coal that this train is carrying just over to this train station. Maybe that's the real solution here. Ah, oh, man, it kind of actually is. That's the bauxite node that we're running all the way to the plant over there, putting on a train, and then sending to there. When I could just have a belt that goes from A to B. Okay, you, you know what? That alone kind of seals the deal for me. We're gonna go with that system. But we'll definitely use this loop and in and out concept for a different build, I'm sure. Because that is way too handy a mechanic not to abuse. It's such a shame though, because I spent so much time making this track so perfect and nice and the whole train station over here is built into the base, but now it's totally useless. But it has to be this way. Gats to. I think the only thing we're gonna lose out on is gonna be that copper, the 400 copper per minute. Cause I don't wanna belt that all the way from there to like the other side of the world. I think we'll wait for drones to use that copper. Plus we're gonna be able to compact that a lot because of the dreaded one, the copper powder. But that's something that far future kids will deal with. And current kids is gonna start redesigning this whole platform here. So there have been the redesigns. Lots has changed, but it's very, very simple now. It's just a loop, so I added in the extra train track over there, and it just is a very simple loop. And we're gonna have lots and lots and lots of small trains. So I've had to make a lot of extra storage to make sure that we don't run out of items, A, and B, the throughput's gonna be okay. It's all about the throughput, baby! And also, train station's looking a little bit more snug now. <laughs> Definitely more reasonable. Until all the trains start going. So we're gonna probably have four trains running around this loop just to keep up with things. And they're gonna be smaller trains. So only like six freight cars long. Or wait, no, 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 seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the bauxite is going into one freight car, all the coal in another, and then all the quartz in this last one. Then we have individual freight cars for the gas, since the gas cars have very low capacity. By the way, I should have mentioned this earlier, but sorry about all the flickering. We're right on the edge of a biome right now, so the lighting changes between the two, and it's extremely, extremely, extremely annoying. Nothing we can do about it, though. Box, going out. Everything coming here. Grabbed all the stuff from the other factory. So we are good to begin. Shoe number one. Let's rock and roll. Goes to box in. Goes from box out. Safe. Turn on self-driving. And you do your thing, brother. And let's build the next one. Again, many, 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 many trains. All right, so goodbye, train number two. Train number three. And... What? Oh my... <laughs> no! My chew! I have this going around the cliff. What happened? Oh, where did that come? Oh. Oh, I didn't set up any of the signaling or the blocks. Yeah, whoops, maybe should have done that one. But maybe we could do that in just a second. I wanna have some fun first. We are right next to a cliff, so you know, gotta be done. Wait, we didn't crash. Wait, we're ramming through everything. We're not ramming through anything. Wait, why is there this golden train? Rerail? 
Wait a second, we re-railed the train in another train. Does this cause explosions? Do it, do it, do it, do it. What is this? Why is there no clipping explosion? I wanted to see a kaboom. Developers, my memes. How dare you think you can stop me? Let's do it again. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Oh my gosh. Erp. Do it. Over the edge. Okay, enough memes though. We need to start the tests. So the train system is now working with signals. No more crashing. We got like four or five trains. I think just four actually. Trains going around. And we've been unloading stuff at the new drop off point. Because before I mentioned that we're gonna drop off everything on that cliff there. But then I realized that's silly. So I brought it closer to where our aluminum plant is. In fact, we're right over it now, because I'm pretty sure the aluminum plant is gonna be extremely, extremely tall, to say the least. So I'm not super worried about this. And also, don't worry about this either. This is just for the test. It'll only be here for a moment. Just be happy with all the pretty colors. Smile. Anyway, what are we testing? We're testing the throughput rate. Are we moving enough items through the system at once? That's the big thing. So, I've built a bunch of tanks, have a bunch of stuff happening, just so we can see if the numbers are high enough. So for example, we're moving 1,560 quartz crystals per minute. Well, are we? Will the throughput rate say so? No, we're only moving 950-ish. What's up with that? Just an FYI, by the way, I am loading both the 780 lines into both of the entrances, and we have both of the exits being utilized to their max as well, because they're going to awesome things. So, this is a little weird, but the big thing is, the system's not working, right? Well, that's what I thought, except then I came back to... the loading station. And look at this. This is not fully loaded with items, which I think means we're loading items so fast that the miners can't keep up. I think, anyway. Or at least, that's the answer I'm going with, because it seems to be the case. I think we're good to go. We already have so many trains that there's usually one that's just having to wait as well. So I think everything's fine. We're moving, we're grooving, we have all the bauxite in the world, almost, and our train system's fine. I'll keep doing some measurements while I do some belt work here. Oh yeah, and the belt work is for all the rest of the bauxite that was just around this biome, and now I've scooped it all up, along with some coal, and belted it all the way back to the train station area, ready for our aluminum plant. And that gave me ample time to measure things and make sure that everything is running properly. And I think we're good to go. The throughput seems to be fine. Like, the numbers haven't really been changing much, we seem to be moving through everything at a good pace. Like, it only says we're moving a thousand items, but I think it's more than that because the miners can't keep up, which is perfect. Exactly what we want, and again, the gas has been fine forever. So I would say we are done. However, that is gonna be all for today because next up is the insane aluminum plant. Still though, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye-bye.